You're watching The Isaiah Factor, uncensored. Welcome back and thank you for joining us for the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. The stage is set for the historic impeachment of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Powerful attorneys have been tapped on both the defense and the prosecution of this case. My next guest explain why this case will be talked about for decades. Take a listen. So, State Representative Reynolds, we have the battle of the damn titans going on here. On one side, representing uh, Attorney General Ken Paxton, we have Tony Busby and Dan Cogdale. On the other side, prosecuting him for the state in this impeachment, Rusty Harden and Dick DeGaron. Those are for the best, not just in the city of Houston, not just in Texas, but in the country, for the best attorneys in the country going head to head. Man, I want to buy tickets to this. Me, me too, Isaiah. I, I'm going to have my front row seat in the uh, Senate chambers for that trial. This is the clash of the titans, as you said. This is a heavyweight title uh, uh, of the of the champions uh, to see who's going to be able to prevail. But the reputation is uh, bar none. These are the ones that if you're in a uh, situation where you need to get out of trouble, these are the guys that you call. Uh, whether you're a rapper or a football player or a movie star, if you got the cash and the means, these are the guys that you want. And what it signals to me is that the state of Texas wants his ass. Because they, when I saw they went and got Rusty, Harden, and, and uh, you know, and they got Dick, Dick Gary, I said, ooh, they want <laughs> his ass right now. Did you uh, really go they, in your high voice? Ooh. I mean, yeah, I, I did. I, that's what I, That's immediately what I said. I said, "Damn!" That, I said, "These Republicans want his want his ass bad." Because these these are these are some of the top guns, uh, and I don't know what they're paying, uh, but 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 certainly they're not sparing any expense. They could not have went out uh, unless they went and and uh, brought back to life Johnny Cochran, another Titan. Uh, but but th th seriously, th th these are the ones that you want. So this tells me that they don't want to take any chance, even though they know they have a strong case. They went and got the best of the best of the best to make sure that they put his ass uh, out of office. And guys, Rusty is usually defending individuals at this point in his life, but now he's taken up his prosecutorial role once again. He worked for the Harris County District attorney before becoming the famed uh, defense attorney that he is. But he's saying that this case is much worse than what we have been told, Oliver. Yes. Yes. And, and, and I, I'm glad that you remind the viewers that Rusty was a prosecutor. And let me tell you, some of the best prosecutors that were trained in Harris County, why Harris County got its reputation for being uh, tough on prosecution was because of people like Rusty Harden. So don't think that he's just some criminal defense lawyer and then trying to put on a prosecutor uh, uh, hat. What he does, he started off as a prosecutor, came over to the defense side and knew all the weaknesses of a prosecutor and became a defense lawyer. So he can put that prosecutorial hat right back on. And this is gonna be a show that I don't think anyone wants to miss. And of course, Ron, you said, I mean, could it be possible that in, in Rusty and DeGaron's case, they took it, took this case on maybe just to do it, or is the state actually paying them? Obviously, you know, uh, it would be a hefty bill to pay for both of them. Well, hey, uh, Isaiah, the state does have a record surplus, surplus in uh, nearly $33 billion. Y'all about to had. lose that surplus. <laughs> 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 that surplus is about hey, to disappear. The, the, those billable hours, and look, we, 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 I joke about this, but we did give our, our teachers a pay raise, and that's not funny. Uh, but but now maybe now I know they were holding some money back so they could pay these lawyers their damn money. <laughs> so that's the reason why the teachers do splash. The reason why you're not getting your money is because they gonna give it to they gonna give it to the lawyers. Uh, but 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 yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, because this is historical. Uh, we, we, this is one for the history books. They'll be talking about this long after we're gone. This is the first time in the history of the state that you've had an active attorney general uh, that has been impeached. Uh, this is unprecedented. He's been in battle. Uh, he's been under uh, 
uh, indictment. He's been under uh, FBI investigation. So he's been really uh, smeared in, in, in so much controversy. And now uh, this seems to be almost a nail in his coffin. Uh, when you see Republicans going on Republicans, we didn't see that necessarily with Trump. It was more Democrats going after him and Republicans, even if they thought he was you know, guilty, they didn't want to do it because for fear of them and for it's their own, you know, uh, brother. Brand image. But, but now, now you see the speaker going after him, uh, as well as uh, 65 of the 85 uh, Republican House members voted to uh, impeach him in the House. And so it's going to be yet determined if they can meet that threshold in the Senate. They need two thirds. Uh, his wife, that, that needs to be mentioned. His wife, Angela Paxton, uh, is one of the uh, senators. So unless she recuses herself, she can vote no, and they will have a higher threshold to meet. So it's going to be very interesting. And, and Senator and Lieutenant Governor Patrick, he is aligned with Trump. Uh, and, and Paxton was one of Trump's homies that argued many of the cases for voter fraud. Uh, he was like the attorney general that went across the country, uh, and, 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 and not even just in Texas. And he said that he it validated 250,000 ballots that if he didn't do it, that he would have lost Texas and Biden would have been uh, uh, won Texas. So uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you that it's going to be an uphill battle for uh, those attorneys to prosecute him and convict him uh, in, in the Senate. Even though the evidence is high, just because of the partisan makeup, it's going to be very difficult, I believe, for them to get two thirds. They need 21 uh, of the 31 to, to say yes. So what are the chances Attorney General comes out of this unscathed? We'll talk about it on the other side of the break. Stay with us here on The Factor Uncensored. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Bribery, abuse, hidden affairs. Those are just some of the allegations Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is facing. State Representative Ron Reynolds and Attorney Oliver Brown continue the conversation about his impeachment and share why they anticipate this legal showdown to be explosive. And of course, uh, we heard uh, Tony Busby, who now represents uh, Paxton, along with Dan Cogdale, say this is all about politics. There's no there there. Your thoughts on that, Oliver? Um, I, I don't think this is all politics, but, you know, Tony is one get, uh, a, a wonderful attorney. Obviously, T Dan Cogdale is as well. Um, but I, I don't believe this ultimately is going to be about politics. I think there's where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't believe that the Republican Party would have jumped on this so hard, would have went and hired these individuals if, in fact, there wasn't some type of substantial evidence. Because at the end of the day, this is still a black eye for the Republican Party. And for them to vote that way, you know, that means that they're really voting their conscience and that they had to really see something. If the Republicans are very smart when it comes down to playing politics, I always say they're, they they are outsmart Democrats all the time. Sorry, Mr. Reynolds. Yeah, you're uh, right. You're but but they but they but they they do outsmart. And so if they if they had a twinge of this being uh, mainly politics, I don't think this would have gone that far. So. Uh, I, it's going to be interesting to see, but I think it may be an uphill battle uh, on the defense side. And as if I can say something real quick, usually Republicans fall in line. They don't necessarily have to fall in love. They don't love Trump, but they fall in line because of your yes. pro life. If you say all the right Republican talking points, then they usually give you a pass regardless of whatever you got going on. But this is an exception. And I'm a, I want to say that they brought in all the heavyweight guns, but I'm surprised they didn't give Oliver Brown a call. He, 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 <laughs> Oliver, you might be the, 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 the only one that's a heavyweight that didn't, didn't get a call, but don't wait. I, I think they're still hiring folks, Oliver. You know, <laughs> may still be ringing. Hey, he may get that call. He's been in some very high profile cases <laughs> as of late, but all, all you can say is all my life I had the fight. <laughs> Uh, that's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you guys had to bet on one side or another, with the skills of these attorneys, these incredible attorneys, which side would you say walk away the, the winner here? I'm not going to bet. As a lawyer, I will not bet on either side. Both, of the, both sides have excellent representation. I believe that the, the jury, which is comprised of the Senate, is going to give him a fair trial, and I'm not going to bet on either way. I just, I, I, only thing I will bet on that this is about to be the greatest show that has ever happened in Texas in a very, very long time. Representative yeah, Reynolds, your like, thoughts? Just like we was watching uh, 
uh, F. Lee Bailey and, uh, and Johnny Cochran doing the OJ trial. I remember I used to run home every day to watch that crowd. This is going to be that kind of excitement, that kind of people tuning in. Uh, I would not, I'm like Oliver, I don't know. It's a coin toss, man. You flip a coin and, and you can kind of see who, wherever the coin follows, who may win. But, but I could certainly tell you that the representation is going to be extraordinary. Both sides are going to present a hell of a case. It is really going to come down to the conscience of those senators and if they're going to follow the rule of law. Uh, because Absolutely. it won't be because one attorney was probably better. They're both equally competent and capable and qualified. And it's going to come down to their conscience and whether or not they want to convict them. Uh, but 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 certainly uh, either side could, is going to present one hell of a case. And the I'm sure it's going to be a lot of zingers in there. There's going to be a lot of talk of corruption. Uh, there were allegations of affairs and all. I mean, it's all kind of stuff, man. This guy was real, a real crook. I'm telling you right now, the <laughs> evidence that we saw, uh, you and I, Isaiah, uh, Oliver, we, our black ass would have been locked up right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, as someone who they went after before, our black ass would have been under the jail right now if, we, if that was us. Okay? Trust, trust and believe that. <laughs> we, uh, you, you're privy to, the, to more facts than I am. So I'm going to stay neutral. <laughs> Apparently so. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. And obviously, this is a case we will be following. It will be incredible to see these attorneys at work. Thank you all for joining us here on The Factor tonight. Thank, Thank you. you.